Hey everybody, I'm Molly Wood and welcome to The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everyone is talking about. This week I think you know what everyone is talking about. So first, the gadget of the week and the big news of the week. The gadget of the week is the new iPad, obviously. And actually it appears that the new iPad is the only name it's going to get, which should really embarrass all of us who actually speculated about what the product would be named. Yes, Apple stirred up a media frenzy once again. Shocker. As to the iPad, I'm sure you know the specs by now, but let's recap. It has the super high resolution retina display, which is probably its biggest selling point. I mean, stunning. There's also a dual core A5X processor with a quad core GPU. The new iPad also gets 4G LTE on Verizon and AT&T in the US, actually beating the iPhone to the 4G punch. It also gets a five megapixel camera on the back that's very similar to the one on the iPhone 4 so assume it's very good. 1080p HD video recording, although the weight goes back up to 1.4 pounds, so don't be thinking you're gonna record like a whole parade or something. It gets heavy. There's voice dictation built in on the keyboard, but strangely, the iPad doesn't get the full Siri product that's found on the iPhone. I don't know why. And Apple says battery life will still be 10 hours and nine hours on 4G, which is insane. More insane? The fact that the 16 gig model will still cost 499 bucks, just like the old 16 gig model. Pricing is the same across the board. How? I cannot wait to see the teardown on that sucker. Meanwhile, the iPad 2 remains on sale, but gets a $100 price cut across the board. It starts at 399. Take that, Kindle Fire. Apple also introduced a new version of iPhoto for the iPad that looks very cool, and we know because we saw every single feature of it in the world's longest demo. But I admit, it does look amazing. In fact, everything was amazing. Just ask Apple. Brand new, amazing application, amazing new project, amazingly thin, amazing, incredible, amazing, amazing color and resolution, and it is amazing. In other news, Apple also announced a new 1080p Apple TV for $99. Yeah, I know, I didn't really care either. All right, let's do some other news real quick before the next round of iRumors starts up. The FBI this week arrested five alleged LulzSec hackers who they found after they arrested and turned the original leader of the LulzSec group. Yeah, ouch. Apparently, the hacker known as Sabu was arrested last summer and had been acting as an FBI informant for months, mainly because the feds had threatened to take away his two young sons if he didn't help them. Nothing lulls about that. But have you guys been watching Mob Wives on VH1? Because I have, and that shit would not happen in the mob. Amazon might be making its own original content according to a very brief moment in time on LinkedIn. Amazon exec Joe Lewis briefly listed his title as vice president of original television at Amazon. Then he changed it real quick to vice president of production at Amazon Studios when Fortune asked for more details. If Amazon is getting into TV, they would join Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube in producing content that could be seen on demand on connected TVs, the web, and mobile devices, and possibly replace all those shows that the big networks won't allow to be seen on connected TVs, the web, and mobile devices. And in news that's far more important than iPads or TV, scientists say they are closing in fast on the elusive Higgs boson particle. So far, all researchers have is some strong hints that the particle is out there, but U.S. physicists presented research in Italy this week that closely matches some of the findings CERN scientists have recorded at the Large Hadron Collider. And since more tests are coming at the LHC at the end of this year, scientists feel confident that a discovery could come in 2012. And if that happens, we will know massively more about the fundamental workings of the universe, like maybe even how the universe was born. But really, unless we call it the I boson, will anyone care? And that's the Buzz Report for this week, everyone. I'm Molly Wood, and thank you for watching.